<laughs> How's it going? You absolute mad lads. Today I made a future pop drop and uh, I'm gonna show you how I made it. Before we get into it, leave a like on this video, subscribe. Only 0.1% of people watching are actually subscribed. Yeah, let's get into it. Just imagine a nice vocal on here. There we go, that's what I made for you today. I'm gonna show you in explicit detail how I made this. But before that, a quick word from today's video sponsor, Denise Audio and their Dragonfire Compressor. So I've used Dragonfire on uh, pretty much every single element in here, uh, to be honest. So the thing about this is that it's the world's first tonal compressor. Uh, if you wanna know more about that and you know, a little bit more in detail, I suggest you go to their website. But basically you have this push-pull graph up here, which uh, is kind of like an EQ. So this decides what frequencies the compressor is actually compressing. Kind of like a multi-band compressor, but you have like complete control over what you're actually compressing. But then what's super cool about it is you have this like push-pull configuration. So let's say I put a Dragonfire on the master. I take out all of the low end because I don't want to compress the low end. I'll set it to 100 mix, 0% pull. And now you see this grayed out area here, but if I turn the pull knob up, basically what happens is it, it puts that signal back. Like basically you're just bringing those frequencies back without actually compressing them. And yeah, just a God tier compressor basically. But if you're interested in checking this out, head over to the link in the description. I'll also pin a comment. And, uh, and yeah, huge thanks to Denise Audio for sponsoring this video. All right, so here we are uh, in the studio. The final result that I showed you, uh, that it's kind of meant to have uh, some sort of lead on it, like a, a lead vocal uh, is kind of what I, you know, was aiming for. Sort of like a noted style-ish. So I have this uh, <laughs> vocal down here, which is, uh, you know, uh, not copyright for you, but uh, it's drawn out in reverb. I'm just going to show you how, how I like imagined it. <laughs> You know, I hope you could hear that. Uh, but yeah, you know, something like that uh, would be really cool uh, for this track to have a vocal in the drop. Anyway, uh, let's get right into it. So first, let me show you the drums. And then we have this clock and the tambourine loop and some stuff over here. So obviously all these samples are from uh, Ascend, my new sample pack. Go check that out if you haven't already. Fantastic uh, reviews overall. What do you say, Checo? Holy, he's drinking so much. Oh my God, he's never... What the hell? Checo! He peed on the floor. Oh my God. <laughs> so I should probably mention that these drums are uh, built around uh, this chord loop. which is why the kick has the pattern that it has. So basically that chord loop is what I started with. Obviously you can always start with a chord loop, uh, you know, build some elements around it, like drums for example, and then switch out the chord loop for, you know, something else. But I decided to stick with the chord loop uh, this time. It's pitched down to semitone, so it's in the key of A sharp. But anyway, continuing with the drums, we have two kicks. Uh, the soft kick 08, soft kick people are gonna bully me for that but that's what it's called then a rumble kick it's like a short impact basically and to the kick we have a side chain with fruity balance uh, it looks like this just completely cut out here in the beginning weird little percussion here random hit 15 we have a lot of those actually Snare on every snare hit mixed with um, a high shot and a light impact on um, every other one. I don't know, basically what I want to show you is just that there are a lot of like little details in the drums. Like nothing super special obviously, but just a few things here and there that, that make him more alive. 
They're all just linked to a drum bus. And on there I have a Dragonfire with the drums clarify preset. It just basically tightens it together a little bit. Um, and I've compressed the low end and the high end a little bit more uh, and then used the pull knob to sort of tame that down a little bit, bring some of those frequencies back. From there, I started to add some crash transitions, wind chimes. This is white noise exhaust. This is a string stab, I believe. Yes, it is. Down here, we have some guitar licks. Uh, this is a loop from uh, the guitar sample pack. Uh, it sounds like this originally. Uh, I just like to drag in stuff from there and chop it up uh, to sort of fit it in the mix. Then obviously we have uh, some effects on there. EQ uh, to remove the low end. Bit of sausage fat in there. Fruity flanger does a lot to the sound, obviously. Some dragon fire to compress the highs. Uh, and then a vintage verb. Over here, we start to add things to really fill out the mix. We have an alarm and uh, an arp. It's cool because uh, alarms, obviously I got that idea from uh, from the cashmere packs. And generally, you know, you think of an alarm as like, oh, I, I should use that in like a, a, a melodic dubstep build up or something. You can use it for anything. You, like in this case, it's kind of used like an ambient shot, you know? So now it's really starting to sound like something. Uh, and then I actually recorded some guitar on my own because I wanted to have a guitar melody originally for the drop, but didn't really end up working too well. So uh, I just put them in like uh, kind of in the same way as these ones, the guitar session samples. I was just basically playing around for eight minutes. This is like a super long sample, just random stuff. I recorded it with my window open and this recording environment in general is like really bad. You can hear the seagulls and stuff in the background that's outside. And this little guitar part here works so well with the chord loop. It's a little bit messy, but eh, I don't really care. And here we actually have the Katy Perry roar acapella. Uh, that actually has two compressors. I don't know what I did here. Oh, oh, it's uh, one is a de-esser, which obviously you can do with with uh, Dragon Fire. So it's just controlling uh, the highs here, basically. And then a vocals fatter preset in here. Like there are so many presets in here for uh, for vocals, bass, drum buses, uh, individual drums, like snares, whatever you can imagine. Like so now we get into the little bit more spicy stuff. Uh, here are all the instruments down here in red. So far there's no instruments in here. First layer, bass. Very simple pattern. This is one layer from the Silent Bank. Gone, but never forgotten. It's not actually gone. You can still get it, of course. Link in the description. I don't use this enough. It has so many good uh, simple layers. That has some blood overdrive and a dragon fire on it. Then we have some chords down here. Cutoff automation and a reverb mix automation. Uh, yeah, just very, very simple. Down here, what is this? Right, some super weird, like stringy thing. It's the lead send uh, with no reverb on it whatsoever. And then a flex staccato string. And this is basically to like fill it out, right? Have something on every beat that's like without it. I like that kind of thing anyways. Oh, we have a piano as well. Chorus, my new favorite, Woodchester Piano. There's still a discount code available for that. If you go to my previous video here, I hope I don't forget to put it in here, uh, but <laughs> if you go there, there's a discount in the description and everything like that. Also some Dragonfire, crazy this time, 
basically removing the lows, boosting the highs. And down here we have uh, what was initially uh, the lead of the track, but uh, I don't know, I didn't want to enhance that melody too much because I don't know if I was just getting tired of it or if it's not a good melody, but it's it's the one from the, from the chord loop. That's also tied to the same reverb automation as the chords. I don't know, you could raise the volume of that and turn it into like a lead, uh, but I have another lead alternative that I'm going to show you soon. I don't know, I think it's I think it's pretty cool, so stick around. Uh, that this little interesting uh, thing down here. It's a pizzicato uh, flex string. With a bunch of reverb on it, some distortion, quite a lot of distortion, a bit of dragon fire, some EQs, and uh, a reverb, obviously. Now, this is the first part of this pattern that comes in here, which sounds like this. Which, I don't know, it makes it sound so much more poppy uh, for some reason. I don't know, I could just hear like uh, a really good female vocalist uh, sing on this with that in the background. I don't know what it is about it, but it sounds very sort of modern and poppy. Yeah, goddamn. And I think that's it, honestly. We have the last part of here, obviously, that's a little bit different. So I showed you the version with the uh, Katy Perry vocal, which, you know, turns this into a completely different drop in my opinion. But here's the lead, okay? Now, don't judge before you listen to the whole thing. I really like this. It's not as poppy anymore. Just take a listen. I just love that melody. It's so wholesome. I don't know what it is about it, but it's just so, it's so wholesome. But yeah, obviously that's not like a note uh, or a, a future pop track anymore. It becomes something completely different, but uh, yeah, I still really like it. So, um, but that's it. That's the drop. Uh, it's very, very simple. If you've been producing for a couple of years, then you can probably, you know, uh, follow along quite well. Uh, if you're a noob, let me sum it up for you. Drums, very detailed, uh, a lot of small stuff. A bunch of effects to complement the drums. Then your instruments, solid bass, some laid back chords, make sure to EQ everything. That's it. That's my little future pop uh, tutorial for you guys today. Tutorial. Me talking for 10 minutes. Yeah, I know, but I hope you like the track. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on this and uh, I'm gonna get a vocalist for it. Gonna produce it into an entire track. Anyway, I just want to remind you to uh, join the... What? Hello, Ni. How's it going? Let's sit like this. I just want to remind you guys to join the Discord down below. My mods in there have taken it to a new level. They have like contests and stuff in there now. I don't even know what's going on in there. It's like a... It's like the Wild West, uh, <laughs> but it's a lot of fun in there and uh, it's a really nice community. So uh, you guys should uh, go join. And of course, as always, if you want to get the sounds that I use to produce, head over to mhmusic.com. Uh, best way to support the channel and um, you get some very nice sounds for it. Last but not least, a huge thank you to Denise Audio for sponsoring this video. Seriously, guys, go check out their Dragonfire compressor. It is uh, so, so, so good. Uh, but yeah. I have some uh, different kind of videos for you guys uh, coming up. We're gonna fix this uh, studio place. Studio, it's it's a it's a it's a bedroom in an apartment. Gonna do some more demo listening videos. Some more fixing subscribers beats. Gonna do some uh, Discord event videos. Next video is gonna be a real nice one. Thank you for watching. I love you, monster. Please sponsor me. Bye bye.